Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the race car starts from rest and travels along a straight road until it reaches a speed of 26 meter per second in 8 seconds as shown by the VT graph. The plate part of the graph is caused by shifting gears. Draw the AT graph and determine the maximum acceleration of the car. So we are given this VT graph and we are required to, to draw the AT graph and determine the maximum acceleration. So since this motion is happening in three time intervals, this is from 0 to 4, 4 to 5 and 5 to 8. So let's consider the first interval that is when T is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 4 seconds. So for this interval v is given as a function of time that v is equal to 3.5 t. So since we are required to draw the at graph we have to find the acceleration as a function of time. So we know that the acceleration is dv by dt and the derivative of this is 3.5. So this is meter per second square. So for, our, for the first 4 seconds the acceleration is constant that is 3.5 meter per second. So for the first 4 seconds, the acceleration is 3.5, so this is 1, 2, 3, so 3.5 will be somewhere here, so this is our point. So let's draw this, this will be 3.5 will be somewhere here, and this is until 4 seconds. So this is 3.5 meter per second square. Then when t is when t is greater than or equal to 4 seconds and less than or equal to 5 seconds the for this part of the graph the velocity is constant and the velocity is equal to 14 so we can write that velocity is equal to 14 meter per second so if the velocity is constant the acceleration will be equals to 0 dv by dt so the derivative of the constant is always equals to 0 so the acceleration for from 4 to 5 seconds is 0 so we need to draw the graph like this so from 4 to 5 the acceleration is equal to 0 now from t greater than or equal to 5 seconds and less than or equal to 8 seconds we are given the velocity as a function of time and this is 4 t minus 6 so that velocity is the straight line right so we can write it the velocity is 4t minus 6 and the acceleration is dv by dt so we need to take the derivative of this so the derivative of this is only 4 so this is meter per second square so now for the next 3 second the acceleration is 4 meter per second so so this is 4 so from this we need to travel like this and then like this so this is we need to draw the graph like this this is 4 So the graph will end at 8 seconds like this. So this is the AT graph. And in the problem statement it said that determine the maximum acceleration. So as we can see that the maximum acceleration occurs from 5 to 8 seconds and that is equal to 4 meter per second square. So now we can say that the, the maximum acceleration is 4 meter per second square. So this is that AT graph which was required and the maximum acceleration is 4 meter per second square. So I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning.